Hello everybody and welcome and in today's video we are going to be looking at creating a custom ribbon. Most of the commands in Tecla can be found somewhere along this ribbon. The problem is you have to scroll a fair long way to get to all of them. So we'll start by going to file over here where the main menu is, heading down to settings and clicking on ribbon. In here, you'll have all the different options. This quick access bar is the one up here. Now, it doesn't show it, but you also have recent history right at the end. Next, you cannot change between modeling and drawing. You used to be able to do that with earlier versions of Tecla, but they've since removed that functionality. What you need to do if you want to open up the drawing environment is open up a drawing and then you get access to that ribbon. So for now, let's start with the modeling environment. I don't actually want to change anything to any of these existing ribbons. Instead, what I will do is I'll go say create a new tab down here. And this new tab I'm going to call FORT modeling. Tecla will add it right at the end. You can drag it to be anywhere you would like it. I want mine all the way on the left. Since I'm going to be replacing most of the functionality from steel, I can just turn that off. Same with concrete and rebar. I'm going to leave those for now. I can hide this as well. Analyze and design is not something that I really use. Let's head back to modeling. This is empty. There's nothing in there. If I move it, it's in between these. So let's just stick it at the end. And I'm going to start with using some simple buttons. Let's just open up the steel command up here. And that gives me an easy way to just reference what I want. I'm going to put all of these commands in here. Let's start with looking at the column. You can just type it into the command and that'll give you all the different stuff. Now, if you scroll down, it says create steel column. So I'm going to place this with create steel. And this gives me all of the create steel commands. Let's grab that. And we're going to say we want scalable. Scalable, if it is available, I can check in and I can easily make that bigger or smaller. It goes down one size. You can never make it larger towards the right. Drag something, put it next to it, and then you can make it bigger again. Easy to work around. Next, let's grab column contour plate. I'm going to stick next to that and I'm going to start heading through and doing everything that I want to stick in here. For this next command, I'm going to be putting in the macro to bolt and that's just a application and components. If you type it in, you'll find it over here and that's a quite a good option to use to put bolts in. Unfortunately, this does not come with a picture like it does in the applications. So you'll either have to create one or you can go find one in Tecla's pre-made gallery. If you head in here, you can scroll down. I'm going to put in bolt, my search bar, and that's just to give me something bolt related. It doesn't really matter which one you pick as long as it makes sense to you. I would suggest though, do not grab anything that is overly similar to something you're already using because I've got a black bolt in there. I don't want to grab another black bolt. Whereas if I put a blue one in or if I put one in with dimensions or something like that, it's easy to determine the difference between them. I think this is good enough for my steel. What I want to do now is add in a separator and that's just a vertical line. Put it in here. I want a separate category for the different types of stuff I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to chuck in a bunch of them. Let's head back to the simple button. I use the measuring tools fairly often. So I'm going to put in a measure distance, scalable, measure angle, measure arc. So I'm just going to research bolt and I've got a measure bolt spacing. Cool. I think maybe I'm going to just chuck this over one over there and in here I'm going to put concrete in. Come on, let's hide this, this, and this. We don't need those anymore. The next set of commands is over here, the edit. I'm going to make it nice and wide. This gives me the icon as well as the name. I've created a construction circle over here and its default icon is exactly the same as the duct icon I used over here. I'm not going to change the default icon like the circle. 
I'd rather change the one that I custom added and in this case I'm just going to go to scalable and select something else that looks similar to the hole that I've got I'm going to grab this one and that gives me a good visual distinction between the two This name here is a bit long. What I will be doing now is going back to assembly number and go to custom on the text. And I'm just going to use a shorter name. There we go, assembly number. So if I delete that one and replace it with a new one, I should be able to get the entire one in a shorter area. Now, aside from the standard button, it has these drop-down menus. You can click on them and they'll give you more options. For the next step, I would like to do my catalogs, and I'd like to do that in a drop-down menu. Drop-down button over there. Uh, we need an icon and we need a name. The name for this is going to be catalog. And if we go to this, and then we can shove that up there. Now, unfortunately, while it's closed, we cannot put anything in there, but as soon as you open it up, you can easily stick stuff in there. So I made it a bit smaller and I added some custom icons just to have it look a bit prettier. I can always come back later if I've forgotten anything. Let's close next to that. Yes, we want to reload. These are off by default now. And my first couple of icons is just the stuff that I wanted in here. NC is grayed out because I'm using an education license. Open up the drawing manager from here. We do not have any drawings at the moment, so let's grab that. Make an assembly drawing and open that up. And if we now head back to settings, ribbon and I'm basically going to be doing the exact same thing over here. I think that is it for now. There's a couple of other custom ones I'd like to add but we can get to that at a later stage. Thank you very much for joining me and that's all for today.